Let's bring in Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn. Senator, good to see you this Wednesday afternoon. On the Thank subject, you, on the subject of this New York Times report, is is this a problem of President Biden's own making? I mean, he his administration has let in more unaccompanied children than the U.S. has ever seen, and there are also criticisms that the Homeland Security and HHS watered down the vetting requirements for people who are taking responsibility of these unaccompanied minors. Well, this is getting to be a, getting to be a habit for President Biden on the debt ceiling. He said he won't negotiate with uh, Speaker McCarthy. He won't work with Congress to come up with a bipartisan solution to our broken border. And this is the consequence. Thousands of children allowed into the country and who are literally lost only to be found into uh, forced labor situations like the New York Times documented. I'm afraid that uh, forced labor, as bad as it is, may not be the worst conditions these children are being subjected to. Recruited in gangs, sex traffic, abused. And uh, the Biden administration doesn't know where they are or what's happening to them. Just like the Biden administration doesn't know where the 4,300 Chinese nationals who showed up at the border over a four-month period, where they are or what they are doing, even though China is our foremost national security threat. They just simply are clueless. So Karine Jean-Pierre was asked about this yesterday. She, she pretty much tut-tutted the criticism. Listen here. It's unacceptable that these companies are using child labor. This administration moves swiftly to crack down on violators and are more uh, re rigorously vet now more vigorously vet sponsors of unaccompanied minors. DOL and HHS launched a new task force to heighten cooperation and better share information. But we also need Congress to provide the resources we need to enforce. So that last line there. Uh President Biden created this problem. Now the White House is reaching out to you for more money to deal with it? Yeah, and John, more money is not going to solve the problem. Uh, what we have is a basic policy failure due to the Biden open border policies, where people claiming asylum can be admitted into the country and released and uh, maybe never to be heard from again. And certainly that's the case in, uh, with some of these minor children. Uh, but given court, many of them given court dates years from now, and uh, lo and behold, uh, many of them never show up and simply melt into the great American landscape. Uh, this is a tragedy, and the, the tragedy lies at the feet of President mm -hmm. Biden, Secretary Mayorkas, who has repeatedly misrepresented the facts, denied reality, what's something we've all been able to see with our own eyes and hear with our own ears, that the border is broken. They like to blame other people, but they have responsibility. We stand ready to work with them, but I understand why the anger, there was so much anger at the hearing in the House today. I'm angry too, particularly at the 108,000 American lives that were lost as a result of the drugs that came across the southern border, thanks to the Biden open border policies. Uh, you also had a meeting of the uh, Finance Committee today where you heard for the very first time from the newly minted IRS Commissioner Danny Werfel. He's got another $80 billion in his pocket to spend on a lot of things that he'd probably like to get done. What concerns did you have? What did you want to know from him? Well, first of all, Congress, uh, the, our Democratic colleagues appropriated $80 billion to the IRS with no plan. Uh, they have it exactly backwards. We should have seen what the plan was, been able to assess the plan, and then determine what the funds were that were necessary to do it, including keeping President Biden's yeah. promise that he won't audit people making $400,000 uh, or less anymore. Uh, but this is a reckless piece of legislation that added to inflation and is going to have, uh, I think, unknown consequences for the American taxpayer. All right. We'll keep following that one. No question about that. Senator John Corner of the great state of Texas. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.